they know. Coming up next, the 1950s murder cover-up that reveals some strange bedfellows in L.A. Confidential. Big hey, V, what are you doing here? Hey, you know, man, keeping the streets safe, boys. Supposed to stay away from the man when his blood is up. His blood's always up. But perhaps you should stay away from him altogether. A young Los Angeles police officer in the 1950s has his idealism severely tested in L.A. Confidential, a great-looking new movie that manages to breathe some life in the overworked cops and corruption genre of filmmaking. Co-writer director Curtis Hansen has come up with a very complicated but cleanly told story based on the novel by the best-selling author James Elroy. The portrait of L.A. as a sin and exploitation center begins as we watch a veteran sergeant, Kevin Spacey, conspire with a sleazy rascal, a tabloid publisher, Danny DeVito, to arrange and photograph a drug bust of a young actor. Freeze! Police! Hold it! Come on! Come on! Let's go! I got my family coming out! Nice Christmas gift, won't it? Hi, Tammy! All right. Hi, Matt! Right over here. Just Hold turn. Hold it! Got it! The movie premiere pot bus. Enter a young obsessed cop played by a bright new face, Russell Crowe, who investigates a mysterious businessman played by David Strathairn. I needed a Rita Hayworth to fill out my little studio. A little studio. Oh, there's Gardner, Russell, Monroe, Turner. Then Bracken is my Veronica Lake. I use girls that look like movie stars. Sometimes I employ a plastic surgeon. When the work had been done, that's when you saw us. The same cop is drawn to a beautiful hooker played by Kim Basinger. L.A. Confidential has a gorgeous palette thanks to cinematographer Dante Spinotti, whose credits include The Last of the Mohegans, Heat, and Nell. This is a world-class talent. You're different, Officer White. You're the first man in five years who didn't tell me I look like Veronica Lake inside of a minute. You look better than Veronica Lake. And there's another young, steely, ambitious cop who is central to this story, and he, played by Guy Pierce, also has his eye on Basinger. I see blood because I want to. I see blood because he can't hide the good inside of him. I see blood because he doesn't know how to disguise who he is. I see blood for all the ways he's different from you. Don't underestimate me, Miss Bracken. It was hard to predict the storyline of L.A. Confidential, and I really enjoyed that about this picture. And again, the photography. The 50s have never looked better in the movies. L.A. Confidential is a very confident movie. It's not Chinatown. It's Hollywood. And it's very good. It is very, very good. It reminded me, in a way, of Once Upon a Time in America, in the mm -hmm. sense that it had such a lot of different threads of plot that all came around and at the end all turned out to be connected. It's very In that well way written. it's also like Chinatown, but good performances from one end to the other. This guy Pierce is really good. He's a newcomer yes. who has a real presence on the screen. He can stare directly into the screen and it's dramatic. Yes, and that's yes. the nature of stardom. Kim Basinger is very good here because she's a wounded woman who's trying to do... Good casting to pick her. What She's trying to do uh, what she thinks is right and it turns out to be what's wrong, but then also, the whole sleazy era of confidential magazine yes. and the beginning of gossip and the beginning of paparazzi, if you will, it's all there. And to find the drama in that, it looks right. I mean, it just, again, the look. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm seeing scenes we've seen you countless more, times before, yes, you get but it more looks good. And more absorbed at the end. James Cromwell, you didn't mention, the yes. police captain who's in charge of everyone and what he has to do with the plot. When we Wonderful. Come back